All right, so we have uh, Jody Vaness is going to talk in this presentation about speeding and speed limiters and what you need to know, what they look for when they're uh, going into a court of law, and how to protect yourself against these. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll be right back with Jody Vaness. Um, if you are caught exceeding 115 kilometers an hour, you are deemed not to have a functioning speed limiter. So what happens is I get clients that go, they're driving down the hill, um, 401 uh, by Napanee, and, uh, and of course gravity takes over. They don't have that um, uh, road speed setting on their ECM. So gravity takes over and now you've got a truck that's just free flowing down the hill because the governor ain't going to do nothing for you. And so then you've got an OPP officer that knows his market and is sitting there at the bottom of the hill, literally picking them off. And he'll lay a no speed limiter against the company, no speed limiter against the driver, and the speeding charge also flows. So that's, that's huge, right? And so then a company goes, well, I got all the paperwork to show that I got a functioning speed limiter. No, actually, you don't. That's not, th that isn't anymore going to prove a whole bunch when we're, when we're looking at a deeming provision. And then, of course, a lot of people have to sometimes, because we don't have the evidence, you have to give up the speeding to save, or sorry, give up the speed limiter to save the speeding, because that's the pointable offense. Speed limiters, to this day, only, they're, they're, they're only in, in ink only. They, there's no CVR points uh, yet. And I think that's, maybe, maybe I have something to do with that. I don't know. 